I'm here with a couple of ex-cops to talk about their upcoming new release, Ex-Cab, out June 28th on Pit Records. First of all, uh, fine gentlemen, thank you very much for taking the time to chat with me about this record and about your endeavors. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Better Damn, than you! <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you guys come uh, fully loaded, I can tell. Uh, now, for, for those watching the video that may not know exactly who you guys are do you mind introducing yourselves really quick so that everybody knows oh i, I see what's going on there uh so everybody knows no, i'm just stuff. drinking coffee I'm, i always gotta have my coffee with, with an extra extra spice on it you like well i am <laughs> lieutenant lieutenant louis scrapnetti ex um new jersey highway patrolman i am sheriff tub tucker motherfucker of all motherfuckers and driver of the Winnebago. Wow. I I see that you guys are ready for this. Thank you for the introduction. I think that's really cool of you. And uh, let me ask yeah. you this, because when, when I when I got this release, even before I listened to a song, I, I was really wondering, ex-cops, is there such a thing as an ex-cop? I always thought once you're a cop, you're a cop for life. Not when they kick you off the force. <laughs> yeah, that's only for people that are released to in good standing we were the scapegoats for the cops back in the 1990s like we when we were on the force in 1990 police were held in high regard they they worshipped us they made tv shows about us they glorified our actions but people started to see that something was wrong in the underbelly and somebody had to take the fall for the bad actions of basically all police officers and they they pinned it on us and we have an axe to grind with the police now i mean just because we were the worst of the worst they yeah. pin it all on us like we're the bad guys totally well, now we're starting to see that all the cops were like us just not yeah, quite trust trust me it, it's not easy to get kicked off a police force so, they so pretty me, much let you do anything you want so, so let me uh get this straight so you guys were being blamed for what everybody else was doing it's just that you guys were being straight and honest about it while everybody else was doing it in the shadows is, is that pretty much it well, well, we yeah, were exactly. doing it too. Yeah, in I fact, mean, we were the... doing it worse and more of it, and yeah, we were pretty bad. But still, yeah, when you're a cop, you can rob and murder with impunity. You you hardly get a slap on the wrist. But the stuff we were doing was a little bit worse, and we had to be the scapegoats. And getting caught with the governor's daughter did not help things at all. Oh. And all of us got caught. With the governor's daughter. At the same time? Yeah. That was a fun night. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, that I don't remember great. much, but... That sounds like quite the party. Yeah. Somewhere there's a picture of me with boots and just boots and a cowboy hat and my gun belt, and that's it. But how big was and the gun? And your stick shooter. <laughs> well, Because <laughs> that's the question. That's the million-dollar question. How big is the gun? Uh, it is a long barrel 44 Magnum, sir. And I'm assuming you you were not uh, packing blanks. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. No. Arm, armor piercing bullets. Yes. All right. Because that's 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 important stuff. We need to put that on the record. So now, uh, now that we got some of these introductions out of the way, uh, I know that there's always some misconceptions about who you guys are and what what you guys are all about. Uh, how do you tackle those? Uh, how do you get in, in, in this modern day of fake news? How do you guys get some real news out there for those that listen to your music? Uh, that's is that an option? <laughs> I didn't know we could do that. Hmm. Changes I mean, everything. Thing is real news. Yeah, there's no such all thing as real things. news any, anymore. You know, it's, it's all up to interpretation. Just different shades of gray. Yeah. If I say you're guilty and you say you're innocent, well, I have a gun and a badge. So guess who's guilty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, that is very true. That is definitely very true. Yeah. Now, it, it's been a long time, very long time since you guys released uh, any new music. So what, what inspired you guys to put your guns back in the holster and, and pick, up, uh, pick up your instruments, if you will, and mm. record some new tracks? Cash grab. Big cash grab. Well, no, we, we, we saw need, uh, what's going on in, in the United States now, right now. The 
the atmosphere has changed. Like opinions have started to turn and people are like starting to see the, that how cops really are. You know, we, we got, we went out there on the streets and we saw what they were spraying that ACAB everywhere. And, and we do believe that, you know, that all cops are beautiful, but still the time just felt right for us to come back and, and, you know, grab, grab the, take the law back into our own hands. Yeah. We've taken what? six decades off since our last album that came out in 1990 it's, yeah six seven, seven it's been a hundred years i don't know i was drunk for most of it so i don't really know how long it's been it, it sounds like you guys maybe were a little bit rusty well, were you guys a little bit rusty uh you, you you never forget how to how to beat people over the head with a billy club or shoot people in the back or uh uh you know steal personal property and uh, you know it's like riding a bike you never forget so you guys come into this record a little bit half cocked <laughs> we're fully cocked fully oh. cocked my bad my bad fully cocked it, yeah. and i in that that is that important aspect of, of your creative process to come in guns blazing fully cocked i mean what what else is there yeah it's the only way it's we either know. us or them you know so it's it never us. No, it's always <laughs> them. No. We're well armed, so it's usually never, ever us. It's uh, armed to the teeth, I would say, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. To the yeah, teeth. They, they, they tried to take away Good. all our weapons and our vehicles, you know, but we put the fun back and defund the police. You know, we we, we bought our own, stocked up. We got every every weapon known to mankind in the paddy wagon there, and we're just taking it to the to the people. I, I gotta say, if that's not a T-shirt, it should goddamn be a T-shirt. That fun well, it will be now. You know what? That is a T-shirt if I've ever seen one, and and for the prices I've seen Ben's charging these days, at least sixty five dollars when when you guys come to Canada, at least sixty five. Yeah, and that's oh like yeah, it. Canada, yeah, because your money's worth yes, U.S. Right. Yeah, our money is like you can't even wipe your ass with it. <laughs> but you can see through it, and if you leave it on your dashboard in the summer, it shrivels up and melts. <laughs> The shrinky dink of of That's currency. Bad. There's there's a lot of shrinkage in Canada apparently. So That's uh, what we hear, we hear that. Yeah, un unfortunately, uh, we're a country of shrinkage. It's I, I'm not proud of it. I I just happen to live here, so uh, it's an unfortunate situation. Uh, and you know what else causes shrinkage is beating a guy with a nightstick over and over and over, also produces shrinkage. Really, that no, no, one's beating or the one being... Well, if you're the guy beating the guy, then yeah, you get a raging fucking hard on. But if you're on the ground getting repeatedly beaten with a nightstick, you tend to shrink a little. Yeah. Yeah. Especially you... if you're beating a guy and he's naked and it's cold in Canada. Boop. Right back in. Yeah, it's uh, I, I personally I I don't have any experience and I hope I never will, but uh I'll definitely take your exp expertise words on it. You know a lot more about yep. this stuff than I do. That's for sure. Yep. That would be wise. That would be wise, sir. Yes. And, and, I, and I noticed that you guys have this take no prisoners attitude and that take no prisoners attitude uh, is reflected in the music on this release. Uh, is, is, was it fun for you guys to put these tracks together as much as it was fun for me uh, to listen to them and dive deep into these uh, lyrics? We're just doing our job, sir. Yeah, it's funny you should make mention take no prisoners because um in the in the seven decades since we put out the last album we have like lost track of a few of the members of X Cops uh, uh Cadet Billy Club could not be found our old drummer so we had to we had to figure out something so we 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 um went around to local clubs here and well when while we were on the road we would go to local clubs see what band was playing and grab whatever drummer they had behind the the drum kit plant some drugs on them and slap them into the orange jumpsuit, put them in leg irons and chain them to our drum kit, force them to play for us. Yep. Some we nights we couldn't find another just... band and we just found a common criminal and made him learn how to play the drums. He had 30 minutes or he dies and they usually die. Don't you feel like force maybe is a little bit of a harsh word, maybe persuade? Would probably uh no we we force them force them yeah. force. I don't think that's a yeah. harsh enough word really. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, you know yeah, why do they I, call I, it police force? 
Yeah, I was trying to soften the blow here, if you will, but uh, I don't think there's any soften of the blows with you guys. No, there are no soft blows when it comes to ex-cops. We blow hard. I mean, wait. Or or or, or blown hard. Or blown hard. I mean, like, I guess it could be. Been there. Up. Been there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, be careful with the soap. Uh, now, uh, the track, we're, we're the pigs. You know, it, you, you guys consider yourselves all, like being, you know, all beautiful. So where does this part come in? I, I know you can slap lipstick lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. So uh, where, where hey, do you... where do you think bacon comes from, man? Come on, I mean a pig is a beautiful animal. Oh, you get you get bacon, you get pork chops, you can make sausage. Ham. Uh, it's ham. It's it's beautiful. What what more beautiful animal? Yeah, I, I never realized the pig is the gift that keeps on giving. It's a magical beast, just like us. I I see what you did there. See, I didn't take it from that perspective. I took it from a negative connotation. I didn't take it from like, you know, the the gift of giving. Yeah, well, that's that's why the world needs us because we will beat some sense into you. Wow, this is this is incredible. It's definitely changing my my views on pigs or or, or cops as pigs for that matter. Uh, well, you're what, welcome. Uh, what about the song? Can, was it Kinder Hardened? Uh, Kinder Hardened, you know, yeah. Yeah, I have to ask you guys this because I don't know if if you know about a band from California called The Offspring. They said that the kids were all all right, but after listening to this song, I'm starting to think that maybe the kids are are a little bit fucked up, or like Michael Jordan would say, "Fuck them, kids." <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if we have time. Yeah. Oh, well, you mean, I, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, was, yeah. yeah. Kids go to school and shoot each other and shoot teachers and, uh, you know, happens pretty much every day in America. The only solution is just give everybody shitloads of guns and have them shoot it out. And then we come back and we confiscate whatever guns are left over. Yeah. No, well, the, we, we were there. We were forced to take um, some part time jobs at schools as uh, security officers and, you know, Seems like everyone we go to, there's a shooting every other week, and we don't get paid enough to go in there and like actually confront the shooters. But no, I've been involved in like a dozen, and and weird. I was always uh, in the back uh, on a coffee break when when all that uh, happened. Yeah, yeah. But those U.S. kids, you know, they've been kinder hardened. They're all strong. They're they they can fend for themselves, and we don't. They don't really need us because. They're looking for a good guy with a gun. That ain't us. No, but you know, it's it's raising a culture of future ex cop. Yeah, a lot of those kids will probably become cops and eventually ex cops. Uh, but the question I have for you is 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 the problem the kids or or maybe the the, the guns should should they have smaller guns with less bullets? No, 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 no. Bigger guns with more bullets. But they should be if marketing kid, more to kids. I think having cartoon characters on the stock would be really good. Um, making yeah. like brightly colored bullets and ammunition. Hello, I think kitty that's a great guns. idea. We need to market um, guns to kids more. I, I just yeah. had this stri- this uh, crazy idea. Maybe the reason why these shootings are happening in schools is because they don't have proper gun training. So maybe part of the curriculum should be gun practice and gun training. So when they aim, it should be the 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 first hour of school should be gun training and it should be mandatory that that every child is armed with at least two guns because you got to have a backup and i think if if they all had guns and they were all heavily armed and and endless ammunition uh you know they might think twice about mouthing off and start yeah, and shit it, with their fellow students and the second hour of school should be a firearm free-for-all where you practice yeah. what you learned in the first hour yeah thin the herd i always say so those schools, for example, in Texas that are close to the border, maybe do like a, a field trip where they can go close to the border and then maybe like target shooting those ones trying to cross the border, maybe? Just maybe? That's that's using your – that's good thinking there. Yeah. I'm, in Texas, we call that a we call that a canned hunt. Wow. Never heard of that before, mm. but I'm not from Texas. Right. You know, yeah, I can well. – Wait, wait. I yeah. think you're trying to trick us. You're trying to send us to the southern border. Maybe we should go to the northern border and do the same thing up there. Well, at least here, probably people won't shoot back. I don't know about the southern border. No, stay so. 
I I'm like not that. familiar with the southern border, but here, for sure, I mean, it's kind of, kind of like shooting fish in a barrel, if you will, or whatever the expression is. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, the, the southern, the Texas border is like a, a, a free-for-all of rednecks tailgating and barbecuing and just waiting for a darker-skinned individual to try to cross the Rio Grande River so they can shoot them in the head and get away with it because the governor of Texas is a fucking cunt. So it's it's perfect. It's a perfect breeding ground for just crazy bastards, violent, violent, crazy redneck bastards. And they but, vote for Trump. So if Trump gets reelected, we're all going to be driving tanks. It's going to be kick ass. Tanks and, and, and machine guns and uh, drones, maybe drones. Maybe that's the next thing. Armed for drones. Yeah. Armed drones. Grenade dropping drones. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Have like a little R2D2 that shits hand grenades. That's yeah, and Trump of, will probably be reelected re because Americans are stupid. Uh, uh, you know, you uh, you like they say, uh, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Yep. Exactly. Whenever Trump takes the throne again, then ex cops will be reinstated. We will be the law, the law of the land. But but then there won't be any ex cops anymore. You guys will just be cops. Well, we'll be we'll probably be Secret Service. Yeah. You got it. And I think that would be and such it, a great move. And it would be a shame if something were to happen to the president while we're standing right next to him with guns. Yeah, but you you know, you know what uh guns on their own, it's not enough. You have to have good guys with, with guns or whatever it is that people say these days. Nah, you just need guns. Yeah. You, you need, need guys with guns. guns. You need AI guns. Put a gun in a guy's hand and, and it'll all work itself out. Yeah. Yeah. No training. So guys with guns. I, I'm, I'm thinking we're very close to the point where American kids are born with a gun in their hand, coming straight out of the vagina. Like Pretty much, yeah, prison. yeah. They don't cut the umbilical cord anymore. They, they shoot the umbilical cord to test the gun. <laughs> then they hand the kid the gun. And uh, off he goes. And then they just put him out on the street because once a kid's born in America, he's on his own. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, it's like the old saying, you know, give a man a fish, he eats for a day. Give him a gun. He's got free drugs for a week until he fucking shoots himself. Yeah. Uh, and he can steal your fish. <laughs> that, that's true, too. Hey, uh, or shoot the fish, for that matter. You, you know, you don't need a... Well, no yeah, you know, you shoot enough times into the into the stream you're going to catch something yeah or you can use a grenade or that tank that you guys are going to get you can shoot the tank into the stream yeah. and it, it, it works it's very effective way of fishing yes yeah you get you get more fish with less work that's true and time is you money. Gotta, we all we all know that time is money yeah you got to pick the buckshot and the slugs out of the fish you know so you don't break a tooth but yeah yeah well yeah, it's in the but, bible yeah, but depending on where you are, I think if you're from Louisiana or Arkansas, breaking a tooth, I don't think it's a big concern. There's probably not many to break to begin with. That's that's true. Well, you know, Arkansas is where they invented the, the toothbrush because anywhere else it would have been called the teeth brush. <laughs> you know what? That, that's also a T-shirt right there. Like, that's two T-shirts already today. That's two T-shirts already. Copyright, Tub Tucker, as of right now. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Uh, one thing that surprised me, and more than anything, when I was listening to this record, is that you guys have a cover from Police. Uh, what, what did you guys? Uh, I'm not going to ask if you guys got uh, any rights, or you asked for the rights. Did you just shoot them up and uh, and <laughs> took it over? Well, like, I mean, it's we figured it's a Police song, so it must be fair game, you know. So, I mean, what Sting gonna gonna come after us? I don't think so. He, apparently, he's really good at tantric sex. I don't know about you guys, but apparently, he breached through his eyelids. I don't have time for that shit. It's fucking <laughs> bang, done, gone. Two strokes. I'm out of there. I got other shit to do. A man on a mission. Yep. I love that. You have a plan and you execute it. Uh, exactly. No bullshit. No bullshit. Oh, there's no time for that. No time for it. No time for bullshit. Yeah, you got to keep your guns cocked and ready to go. Lock and load. You do. Lock and load. So yep. you guys are, are releasing this on uh, June 28th. Uh, are you planning on getting the whole gang in a paddy wagon and maybe hit the road or something? We absolutely oh, yeah. are. We're, we'll be out with uh, chasing those 
rubber monsters from Antarctica again um, next month, which is June. And then once the album comes out, we're going to do a little headline tour of the East Coast for a week. And then we might, might make another appearance with Guar this fall. Wow. You guys are going to be busy. If, if they're lucky. The question is, will they survive? Because when, when it comes to coming fully cocked, I, I feel like you guys are, are at least a, a few centimeters uh, longer in the barrel, if you, if you know what I mean. Well, they yeah, are we immortal and uh, they are alien. And so uh, the bullets just basically bounce off that fucking rubber shit they wear. So, uh, you know, it, it, they're actually a good hang. Uh, and we don't really actively try to murder them, but um, well, we did steal their bus and we made them ride in the van, which they weren't really happy about. But you know, we don't care. So there have been some hard feelings between ex cops and Gore ever since the very beginning. Like we act, they were actually kind of responsible for a couple of our officers getting kicked off the force, which was documented in one of the Gore videos. They were investigating yeah. a murder, and anyway, it's look it up. It's in a war video, actually a couple war videos where we made our first appearance. But we've been chasing them down for the past seventeen decades, and still haven't caught them. There's a little bit, and of they a, get good drugs, so we we hang out. Yeah. Is a little bit of a love hate relationship, you would say? Absolutely, it's more of a hate tolerate <laughs> relationship. <laughs> tolerate. Uh, Man, today you're 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 on a roll. Like I, I'm, I'm kind uh, of just, like, there's there's a there's mutual tolerance. It's about as as far as you can take that. Yeah. Well, uh, any uh, I'm just gonna shoot my shot here since we're talking about blowing your load. Uh, any chance of you guys coming up uh, up north? Yes. All right. I'm, there's I'm, a chance. There's a there's always a chance. So always a chance. So let's hope that that chance materializes and I get to see some ex cops. Uh, if your if your dollar gets stronger, we'll consider it. But well, then we're fucked. We did we did <laughs> uh, bribe and send some very threatening emails to the uh, border guards there, so we'll be able to cross with impunity now. Oh, I think they should roll the red carpet for you guys, as far as I'm concerned. They should. It's time we get some real cops up in this place, and you know, like. Guys like yourselves is what is what we need up here. Yep. Which would be great. Yeah, Silly we're too tolerant up here. You know, with the French you speaking and stuff like that, with all the baguette eating and poutine, that kind of shit. We need we need, a, we, we need we. a little bit. Yeah, we need a little bit more of a of a, of a hard ass to like lead us forward into the future. And you guys might be it. Yeah, we were so looking you guys for. Got... Go ahead. You're... We were looking for an ex-Mountie to join the ex-cops, but we couldn't find anybody fucked up enough that was Canadian that would actually get kicked off the force up there. So whatever. Yeah, everybody's too nice. Issue. Yeah, too soft. We do want to get back up there because you uh, you guys have the maple cream Oreo cookies there that we can't <laughs> get down here. So Yeah, we have our, our also our Tim Hortons with all the uh, a wide variety of donuts that I'm sure you guys yep. would love. Oh, we're very familiar with so basically, I mean, the, we were just we were just up there a few months ago. Yeah, I don't know how you missed it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, you know, the the word didn't get necessarily to me. I I guess I need to get better informants. That's what I need. I guess I guess you yeah. I guess you should. Yeah, that's what I need. They uh, at the border they made us put orange tape on the barrels of our guns. <laughs> they thought they were fake, so we said okay, orange tape, whatever. Orange tape doesn't really stop the bullet from flying out of the gun and killing people. So we didn't really care. It just adds an extra flair to it. Yeah, I mean, it kind of looked cool. Yeah. I, I, I like the fact that you guys didn't uh, didn't blink at, at, at that kind of request and just went with it, knowing that you're still able to uh, to do what you need to do. Well, I mean, it was like, it was that or just a bloodbath at the border, and it just seemed like you know, I didn't want to spill my Tim Hortons in a in a shootout. So you know, you know, okay. donor donuts life do matter. So you need to keep those donuts uh, nice and dry, and keep your coffee in the cup, and and make sure you you go about your day the best way possible. Well, guys, thank you very much for this chat today. I had a blast talking to you guys. 
and uh, the EP or album, whatever it is you guys want to call it, it comes out June 28th on Pit Records, X Cap. Masterpiece is what masterpiece. we call it. Okay, Masterpiece. Okay. Masterpiece, X Cap comes out June 28th on Pit Records, X Cops in the house. Thank you very much for your time. Looking forward to your glorious visit. I, I shall arrive at the scene of the crime with a box of donuts for you guys. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll be coming for you soon enough. All right, guys. All the best. Thank you very much. All right. Careful.